Thank you very much. My name is Jun Kamiya, and I'm a sophomore in high school. I play a match of table tennis with Yashiki, the captain of our team, and I lost 11 to nothing. Wait a minute, Kamiya. Are you even trying? I am. With the way you play, it doesn't seem like that. I'm doing my very best. That's your best? It can't be helped if you don't have the skills, but you should at least try to be a little more aggressive with your attacks. Why do you give up when you think you can't reach the ball? If the ball hits your racket, there's a possibility that you could be lucky and score a point. I have slow reflexes. You seem to be tracking the ball with your eyes just fine. By the time I see the ball, it's already too late. That's what I'm saying. Even if you think it's too late, try to at least swing the racket. If you don't have the motivation to move, you're never going to get better. Even if the ball does hit the racket, there's a low possibility that I'd actually score a point. That might be true at first, but if you keep doing the movement, it could help you develop quicker reactions. Isn't that why you're practicing? I understand. I'll try harder next time. <sighs> I was used to getting in trouble with the captain. In table tennis, the ball comes flying at you at incredible speed. So even if you swing randomly, the chance that the ball will actually hit the other player's court is slim. I was just trying not to waste my energy, but apparently, my captain didn't like that. The captain is so generous. He shouldn't be wasting his time on someone like that. Honestly, he's just a waste of space. He should quit the team if he doesn't even want to try. My teammates didn't like me much. The thought that I was being lazy during our practices. It's true that I'm going easy during practices. I didn't feel any competitiveness or have a desire to get better. I was just content with being a part of the table tennis club. Even then, the captain wanted me to improve my skills and tried his best to coach me. I started to agree with my teammates and thought that the captain should just leave me alone. Katori, stop fooling around! When are you going to be able to do a proper smash? Uh, I'm sorry! Next to me, I heard the loud lectures as usual. Kurumi Tamaru was captain of the girls' table tennis team, and very strict. She was coaching one of the first years, Kotori Tsumujikaze. Tsumujikaze-san didn't have very good hand-eye coordination, so she was getting in trouble every day. Come on! I'm busy too and can't spend all day with you. If you're not gonna try, go home already. Of course, but I am trying my hardest. You're all words and no action. We're done here, so go to the side and practice your movements. Y yes, ma'am. Sumuji Kaze-san withdrew to the corner to quietly practice her swings. Kurumi Senpai went to coach one of the other girls. Kurumi Senpai is scary as usual. You're lucky that our captain's nice, Kamiya. If you were a girl, you wouldn't have it this easy. The boys and girls table tennis teams practiced in the same gym, but we had captains that coached us differently. Captain Yashiki was the type of coach that wanted to watch his athletes show slow improvement, but Kurumi Senpai wanted to see quick results. That was why she was not easy on those whose performance didn't get better immediately. Kurumi Senpai herself was also very skilled at table tennis. I wouldn't mind if I was getting yelled at every day. No matter what anyone said to me, I was easygoing and didn't let their words get to me. Today, the girls and boys teams practiced together. We were given one day a week where we had to practice together. Our tournament is coming up soon, so we should start practicing mixed doubles. We went ahead and made the doubles teams based on your skills, so we want you to try practicing with your teammate. We were paired up with girls for the mixed doubles matches. Our captain was paired up with Kurumi Senpai, while I was paired with Sumuchi Kase-san. Yes, ma'am. Hey, Kamiya-kun. I'm glad to be paired with you. I'll do my best not to be a burden. Same goes for me. And don't stress out too much. Let's just do what we can. Sumuji Kaze-san thinks she's the worst player on her team. My performance wasn't any better than hers, but she seemed to think otherwise. Kamiya, your mistakes are going to affect Sumuji Kaze in the doubles. Sumuji Kaze's skills aren't that good, but she works harder than anyone here. You need to look up to Tsumuji Kaze-san and practice hard. It's a waste of energy to expect anything from them. It's not like they're going to produce any results. They're a team of two losers. Kurumi, that's a bit harsh. I'm just telling the truth. Life would be so much easier if they quit. <laughs> but I'm going to do my best. Doing your best isn't enough. You just don't have talent. No matter how much I teach you, you never get better. If I'm being completely honest, all you're doing is getting in the way of the team. 
I've had enough of you bringing down the morale of the team. But... Sumuji Kaze-san was upset with how harsh her captain's words were. That's enough, Kurumi! She will understand if I don't tell her straight up. Even you. Aren't you tired of having to pick up the slack of your lazy teammate? Kurumi Senpai answered back while looking at me. It's a captain's job to help the younger athletes get better. I don't find it bothersome. You're being too easy on him. If you keep coaching like that, Kamiya isn't going to get better. I don't think an athlete gets better just because their coach is strict. Well, Kaori is a good example of that, so I won't deny what you said. The point is that you're too easy on your team. Are you saying that you'd be able to help Kamiya improve? No thanks. He doesn't have talent nor puts in any work. It'd be a waste of my time to coach him. He's even worse than Katori. I don't want to see your faces anymore. It'd be great if you guys could just quit altogether. Please don't say that. I'm going to continue doing my best. If your results don't show for it, it doesn't matter if you work hard. Or... Are you saying that you'd be able to win in the next competition if you continue to work hard? That's... Then let's make a deal. If you're not able to get through the first elimination round in the next tournament, you'll quit the team. If you do win, I'll acknowledge your hard work and continue to coach you as usual. Hey, come on. Isn't that being a little too harsh? Toe metal? This is the girls' team problem. I'm not going to tell you what to do, Kamiya. But Katori is my teammate. We don't need any athlete on our team that's going to hold us back. I don't agree with your results mean everything type of mindset. I don't agree with your easygoing coaching either. How dare you! Our coaches were getting into an argument. There were many times that these two bumped heads because they didn't agree with each other. Their skills at table tennis were practically the same, but they weren't very friendly with each other. I got it! Please don't fight! If I can't win at least once in the next tournament, I'll leave the team! I'm glad you understand. You better keep your promise. Sumuji Kaze, is that really okay with you? Yes. The fact that I'm holding her back is the truth. If I'm not much of a bother, I'll leave. Can you guys not decide things without me? I'm going to play in the next tournament with you, Tsumuji Kaze-san. I didn't want to put myself through any trouble, but I couldn't help but interfere. Since our next competition was going to be in doubles, it meant that I was going to have some responsibility too. If she wanted to leave the team, good for her. But I didn't want her to blame me if we lost. What? Are you planning to go against me despite being a bother yourself? I just thought that the deal was unfair. We don't even know who we're going up against in the competition. If we had to go up against players of one of our top teams, it wouldn't be fair. The result is the same no matter what team you play against. The tournament is one month from now, so before then, let us play against the two of you. If we beat you, you won't have any complaints, right? If we win against you, you won't have any complaints, right? Are you saying that you can win against the two of us? You can't even play a proper singles match. So, I don't know where you're getting that confidence from. There's a possibility you'd be competing against losers from other schools, but if you go against us, you already know what the end result is going to look like. There's a higher probability of winning if we go against someone we know. It's much better than leaving it to luck. Are you stupid? To the two of you, going against us is the same thing as going against one of the top teams. I was being nice and gave you guys a situation where there was a possibility you'd win. I didn't think you'd throw that chance away. I don't think there are many schools out there with players on our level. When we're playing in tournaments, it doesn't seem like our school places very high either. The two of you might be strong, but it's easier to play against you because we know your skills already. <laughs> oh, you're the one to talk. It's true that I haven't had very good results in the tournaments, but don't talk so confidently if you can't even win against me. Okay then, we'll play against you before the competition. You're too cocky. Need to put you guys in your place. Kurumi Senpai smiled in annoyance and left to practice. Kamiya, try not to purposely upset her. I don't want to do anything to force younger athletes to quit, but since it's a challenge, I'm not going to go easy on you. You were so confident earlier, so I'm hoping to see good results. My captain also left to practice. Kamiya kun why did you say we should go against Kurumi Senpai? Sumuji Kaze san, who was watching the event take place from the side, asked me nervously. It's just like I said earlier. We'd lose any chance of winning if we were placed against one of the top schools. 
Plus, I wanted to catch Kurumi Senpai off guard and make her think twice about her results mean everything mindset. Do we even have a chance at winning? Who knows? That's based on how much we practice from now on, isn't it? So we can't win! I'm saying that it's based on how much effort we put into practice. I'll practice hard with you so we have a better chance at winning. After practice, I told Sumuji Kaze-san that I knew the secret to win against Kurumi Senpai and invited her over to my house. She was skeptical at first, but eventually agreed. Why do you have a table tennis board table in your house? And this... Surprised when she saw that my garage was used as a small practice area. My dad used to play table tennis in the past, and he would train me here. I haven't been here in a while, but I thought it'd be a good place to help you practice. Kamiya-kun, who are you? I'm just a normal person who's a little better at table tennis than the average person. If I actually tried, I could probably win against Captain Yashiki and Kurumi Senpai in singles. But I can't say the same for doubles. We won't be able to win if you don't improve too. There was a rule in doubles that each player had to take turns hitting the ball. There was no point in having one strong player. Wait, are we starting practices now? You don't want to? It's just that, uh, aren't you already tired today? Well, yeah. I guess it's pretty hard to start practicing now after we already went to our regular practice. But we're here already, so let's just try doing one small match. Uh, okay. Sumuji Kaze-san looked uncertain but picked up the racket anyways. Okay, let's start. I started with a drive serve that focused on speed. <coughs> she probably wasn't expecting the ball to fly that fast because her reaction was one step behind. The ball hit the racket but it didn't bounce back to my court. Seems like you're able to track the ball, but if you don't swing properly, you won't be able to get it back to the other court. Wait a second! I didn't think that I'd get a serve that fast! I was going a little easy. I'll do the same serve again, so try to get the ball back to me. I sent another quick serve back at her. But since I hit the ball on the opposite side as last time, it went straight past Sumuji Kaze-san. You said you were going to do the same serve! I didn't say I'd aim for the same side. Sumuji Kaze-san wasn't ready for the ball because she was ready to hit the ball at the front and didn't have her backside covered. It's your turn to serve. Serves went to the other player after two tries. Sumuji Kaze-san served the ball at me looking slightly annoyed. I hit her serve back strongly. I hit the ball directly towards Sumuji Kaze-san, so the ball hit her body after bouncing off the table once. If you continue to serve like that, the opponent can easily hit a smash back at you. Hold on a minute. You're too good, Kamiya-kun. So, why? Are you asking why I usually suck? It's because I go easy during practice. But why? Because I never intended to play table tennis seriously. I joined the club because my dad forced me to. He was super persistent about it. So I'm in the team just to please him. You don't understand. My dad wanted me to become a professional table tennis player. He coached me strictly, and I was serious about the sport before, too. But in middle school, I lost the first singles match at the national tournament. My dad didn't acknowledge the hard work I put in and was super angry with me. That's when I realized that the whole thing was stupid and stopped playing the sport seriously. Oh, it's amazing that you were even able to make it to nationals. Can't believe he was still mad at you for losing. My dad only looks at the end results. He didn't like the fact that I lost in the first round. The same thing happened for three years, so he was even more upset. There were even people that said I was weak compared to the national level behind my back. I still think getting to that level is a big accomplishment. My dad didn't understand that, so we'd get into a lot of fights. I had offers from high schools with powerful table tennis teams, but I declined them all because I didn't want to play seriously anymore. Still, my dad was persistent about me continuing the sport so I joined our school's team to pretend like I was still playing. I didn't know your past was like that. Why did you decide to play seriously again? There was the fact that I was irritated because Kurumi Senpai reminded me of my dad. But Sumuji Kaze-san? You don't actually want to quit the team, right? I thought it was unfair that Kurumi Senpai is forcing you to quit the team if you lose. I love table tennis. This is the first time I've ever really loved a sport. So I want to try playing a serious match. That's why I want to be better. I don't want to quit yet. You seem like you have high expectations. I can't guarantee that we'll win. But if you agree to practice here with me starting tomorrow, 
I promise I'll coach you so that you'll stand a chance against Kurumi-senpai. What do you say? Okay, let's do it! It seemed like she was satisfied with my skills. And the day after, Sumujikaze-san and I began training. One month later, and the day before our tournament, we faced Kurumi-senpai for a doubles match. What were you doing skipping practices for a month? I assumed that you already quit. I was practicing with Kamiya-kun! Kurumi-senpai, please challenge me in a doubles match! It's a waste of time to play against you. Two losers practicing together isn't going to help anyone get better. You promised you'd challenge us to a doubles match, didn't you? Please, keep your promise. I'm not obligated to keep a promise with athletes who skip practice. Hold on, Kurumi. Who knows? They might have practiced super hard. A promise is a promise. Let's play against them. What are you saying? What kind of convenient excuse is that? If you're going to ditch the match, I'm going to play against them. Even if I have to find someone else to play with. You're so annoying. Okay then. I'll guide you so that we can win. Kurumi-senpai reluctantly agreed to the match. My captain was looking at me very expectantly. Kamiya, you're going to show us your improvement, right? You better not let me down. Yes, I'll show you. The match began. We decided to play the match up to 11 points. Sumuji san was the server with Kurumi-senpai on the receiving end. I'm ready! Sumuji san threw the ball into the air and performed the speed serve that I taught her. What? Kurumi-senpai's reaction was a second too slow because of the unexpected serve. Her racket was able to reach the ball, but it bounced off without hitting the table. Your serve is looking good. But a fast serve isn't going to fool your opponent the entire game. Kurumi-senpai seemed to notice quickly. That serve was just a regular speed serve, the type that I used when playing for fun. It was an easy serve to hit if you got a hang of the timing. I know that! I'm just getting started! For the next serve, Sumujikaze-san hit a chop serve in a downward rotation. Kurumi-senpai tried to hit back with another chop, but because of the rotation in the serve, the ball moved in a downwards motion and hit the net. That was good. It seems that your serves have improved. But... Can you say the same about your receiving? Kurumi-senpai still looked confident. We were 2-0. The serving team changed, and Kurumi-senpai was the server, while I was the receiver. <sighs> I hit Kurumi-senpai's serve with a drive. The ball moved in an upward motion, directly hitting Kurumi-senpai's body. Your opponent is easily going to counter the ball with a serve like that. Kurumi, play seriously! They aren't the same players they were a month ago. I got it! I'll be on guard from now on! Let's do this! I hit Kurumi-senpai's serve with another powerful ball, but Captain Yashiki was able to counter the ball. Sumujikaze-san wasn't able to hit his ball back to the other court. I'm sorry! It's fine. Don't worry. We were at 3-1. to one. I was next to serve. The receiver was Captain Yashiki, and he countered my chop serve with another chop. Sumujikaze-san was able to hit the ball back this time. Then I countered Kurumi-senpai's ball back with a smash. Yashiki-senpai couldn't get the ball back to us, and we were now at a score of 4-1. to one. Sorry, that was my fault. It's strange to hear you apologize, but don't worry about it each time. It happens, right? In doubles matches, your partner has to pick up the balls that you hit back. If you aren't able to counter properly, your partner could be in trouble. We got another point the same way, and we were now at 5-1. to one. Captain Yashiki was serving next, with Sumujikaze-san on the receiving end. Sumujikaze-san missed Captain Yashiki's ball by a little bit, letting it float and give our opponents a chance. The ball is mine! Kurumi-senpai was quick to return the ball with a smash. Still, I was already prepared and took a step back. I countered the ball with just as much power. How did that not score on you guys? Kurumi-senpai seemed frustrated. If the opponent is an experienced player, it's normal that you can't score on them with one hit. It was my fault that I couldn't get to his ball in time. Captain Yashiki was acknowledging that I was an experienced player. After Kurumi-senpai hit the smash, Captain Yashiki knew that I would counter the ball and took a step back in preparation. It seemed like he was frustrated that he couldn't get the ball, even if he was prepared for it. But when the score was 6-1, to one, Captain Yashiki countered the ball after I powerfully hit it towards him. Sumujikaze-san couldn't get to his ball, and we were now at 6-2. to two. 
After going through one rotation, it was Sumichikaze-san's turn to serve again. I hit back Kurumi-senpai's receiving ball, but Captain Yashiki was prepared. When receiving Captain Yashiki's ball, Sumujikaze-san wasn't able to counter it. The same pattern continued, and they had caught up to us at a score of 10 to 9. Tori, seems like you're the flaw in your team. Kamiya is scoring all the points while you're the one getting scored on. <laughs> yes, I know that! I'm definitely going to hit back the next ball! I coached Sumujikaze-san by focusing on cuts and serves. That was all we could do in one month. I already expected our game would be like this, because I intended to be scoring all the points. The fact that we were getting scored on was also my fault for hitting back a ball that scored a point. It wasn't just Tsumujikaze-san's responsibility. Don't worry too much. Either way, we're at the final point. I'll be sure to score this time. I won't let you counter this one easily! Kurumi-senpai sent me a cunning chop serve. She probably thought that it would be hard to hit back with a powerful ball. But I forcefully did so anyways. Because of that, the ball didn't land how I wanted it to, and Captain Yashiki was able to counter it with a smash. <gasps> Tsumujikaze-san tried to match Captain Yashiki's serve by swinging her racket. I thought that it wasn't going to make it at first, but her racket luckily hit the ball and went back into the other court. What? Kurumi-senpai probably thought that the ball wouldn't come back, because she had let her guard down and couldn't get to it in time. That was the moment that we won the match, with a score of 11 to 9. After the match, Tsumujikaze-san and I greeted the other team. Kurumi-senpai seemed to be in shock. We lost. I didn't think you'd counter that ball. It was a coincidence. The ball hit my rocket when I swung. I thought I would give it a try instead of giving up. Even the most talented athletes need some type of luck. If you swing without giving up, there's still a chance that you can score. It was your determination to chase the ball that helped you win. Don't forget that. Yes! Kamiya? You were hiding your talent after all. You were the unlucky MVP at Yuki Middle School, right? I've heard of your name, but I was starting to be convinced that you were someone else. You knew about me? You were a popular topic back in the day. There was a rumor that any athlete that went against Kamiya in the national tournament would win. That's why Kamiya was called the unlucky MVP. So the reason why Kamiya could never won in the national tournament was because... It might have been because I was extremely unlucky, but there's also the fact that I probably never had the talent to win in the first place. Either way, I would have lost somewhere along the line. I'm not trying to make excuses for that. Anyways, you guys won today. Kurumi, you're going to disregard what you said about Tsumujikaze quitting the team, right? A promise is a promise. But Katori, winning that match doesn't mean you're a professional player now. Don't get too cocky. I'm going to train you harder from now on. Yes, ma'am! I'm going to do my best! Kamiya, I'm hoping you'll play seriously from now on, too. That was the only day I intended to play seriously, so... Do you really think I'm going to let you do that? Then I'm leaving practice early today. Wait! You're aware that our tournament is tomorrow, right? Kamiya can wait! Katori, you too! Hold on! I ran out of the gym. Now that I was able to prevent Tsumujikaze-san from being forced to quit the team, I thought that my role was over. Still, Tsumujikaze-san chased after me and convinced me otherwise. It seemed like Tsumujikaze-san was going to change my table tennis life from now on.